Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, there's a, a song uh, from when I was growing up back in the 60s uh, by the birds. I think uh, many of you are familiar with it. It's called Turn, Turn, Turn. And it's it based on, uh, from the Bible, Ecclesiastes. And it says there's a time for everything. So here we are in our legislature, a time to work and pass our state budget. And I've been here for, this is my 19th state budget, and the one thing that I've learned from dealing with all of them is that if you're looking for that perfect budget to vote yes on, that you're gonna be here for 119 years and you're never gonna find that budget. But saying that, I would like to just concentrate for a little bit on the human service part of the budget. Uh, three main issues. First, when it comes to the block granting of human services, and I've made no secret that I am not a fan of block granting human services. I do not believe you should be pitting these poor people fighting amongst each other for a limited source of revenue. But with that said, we have a 20 county pilot block grant program right now in place in the state of Pennsylvania that some people want to expand. And I think it's premature to talk about expansion. It's only been up and running since the end of January. Let's give it some time to see how it's working. What's wrong with doing an evaluation, let's say after it's working a year before we talk about expansion? I think that's the only reasonable thing to do. When it comes to funding of human services, there's some good news in this budget. There's an additional $20 million for the waiting list, which is really, really good news. The monies that our counties get to fund human services is level funded. I would really like to see some more money being put back into the monies that our county get for these poor, vulnerable citizens of ours. And we have two and a half weeks left to go. I realize that that, when we talk about the budget, is an eternity. So it is my hope and absolutely my prayer that if there is additional money before we pass the final budget, that that money goes in to human services. I think that should be a priority. And the third issue I'd like to talk about, which I really think is the elephant in the room when we talk about the budget, is Medicaid expansion. That's the elephant in the room. As far as I'm concerned, it's the most important decision Pennsylvania has to make in the 19 years that I've been here in the Pennsylvania legislature. Two separate issues when we talk about the Affordable Health Care Act that it's important for everyone to understand. We have the one issue of the exchanges and the penalties and the business and the mandates. A lot of people don't like that. There's some things in there I don't like that. Put that on the side of one issue. The second issue is the Medicaid expansion. States and governors in 30 states, and many of them are no fan of the Affordable Health Care Act, have decided that expanding in the Medicaid is the right thing to do for their state. And there's a couple of reasons why, and there's a lot of misconceptions. First, the population that Medicaid expansion is going to cover is the working poor. Almost 100 percent of these people are in the workforce. They're making eight, 10, $12 an hour with no health care benefits at their place of employment. Another important point that was brought up at a hearing I had last week, that if we expand in the Medicaid, that we can cover 50% of the uninsured veterans that live in Pennsylvania. I want to say that again. We can cover 50% of the uninsured veterans that live here in the state of Pennsylvania. Three studies from the Independent Fiscal Office, the Economy League, and the Rand Foundation all point to the economic benefits. 3.5 to $4 billion coming in in the state of Pennsylvania, 35 to 40,000 new jobs, it's been said over and over again. You know, I know there's some concerns, but I think there's a way that we can make this work for the state of Pennsylvania. I've introduced a bill, 1492, I think I've addressed some of them concerns, and I would like to remind the, the members that Ronald Reagan, during his presidency, expanded Medicaid three times during his presidency, Ronald Reagan. So with that, Mr. Speaker, two and a half weeks to go. When it comes to the budget, it's an eternity. Uh, I hope we can address some of these issues before we pass the final budget. Remind the members 
that we are going to get another vote here in the House on this budget. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.